Yo, welcome in everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna show you a one minute quick fix to resolve freezing and desync sound in Streamlabs and OBS for your new Elgato Capture Card. So here we are guys, this is my Streamlabs OBS desktop. As always, this will work with normal OBS as well. It might just be that you have to look somewhere slightly different for the same option, but almost always it's gonna be exactly the same. So I recently upgraded my Elgato HD60 uh, to an Elgato HD60S Plus uh, for my next generation console because I wanted 4K pass-through. Um, immediately after purchasing the 60S Plus, I started having sound freezing issues where the sound would just freeze and I would have to go into the Elgato source, deactivate, reactivate, and then the sound would come back. Um, I had this issue almost constantly. It would um, sometimes happen like five times in 10 minutes, and then we'd go a couple hours without it happening. But like, you know, just, just one time is frustrating during a live stream, having to stop whatever you're doing, uh, address the issue. Um, I contacted Elgato and it actually took them five days, even though they promised three days, uh, to come back with an answer and it was very generic you know have you turned it on and off type thing and uh, you know this is 2022 we can't wait five days for a reply to our emails especially from a help service um so i actually sent the hd 60s plus back requested a replacement because i considered it to be faulty and when i got the replacement i had immediately again the same issue sound would freeze it this one was minorly better but it was still way too much you know two three times a stream you don't want to have to stop your stream to resolve these issues that often and no one's going to be happy with that sort of product uh, so eventually I, I sent it back and uh, i upgraded to an Gato x uh, 60x because i thought that that would solve my issues once i got the Gato hd 60x um, although i did have a couple of freezing issues it actually i had another issue with the Gato x and that was that the sound would desync. The longer I was uh, on one overlay, uh, the longer it would sync. And all I had to do is change overlays and it would reset back. But slowly, like uh, it wouldn't be so bad, you know, after a few minutes. But after 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, people would start saying, hey, your sound's not synced. You know, the actions aren't matching the sound. Uh, so you know something's wrong. I then spent hours, absolutely hours, searching the internet, trying to find a resolution for this issue. And there's lots of people with the issue that the sound is desynced from the actual video and uh, talking about how to offset it, but no one that's actually having the problem where it gradually offsets. And uh, after a long time, uh, I found this resolution. I don't wanna bore you with all the details, but basically it came down to the, the buffering that was causing the issue. So what you have to do is uh, find your Elgato video source. Uh, it should be in your sources. Uh, mine's here, labeled Elgato X. Uh, double click, open properties and go down to buffering see this one's already on disabled that's what you want to set it to it should be on ena enabled or auto detect but you, what you want to do is put it to disable uh close the window down and now we're going to add source uh, we're going to add an audio input capture um this is mine here but for the purposes of this video we'll add a new source uh label it you know whatever you want uh Elgato sound or such add source what you want to do is add in the actual capture card source so here's mine hdmi 60x uh, close down the window and uh, the elgato sound will be here in sources i i like to drop all my uh sound files down to the bottom of sources and then they'll appear in the same place in the mixer so um, that is it. That will resolve all of your sound issues with your Gato capture card. Um, I would mute or remove the original Elgato capture card sound. Obviously, it's um, I've already got mine hidden, so it's not appearing. But in here, you will find it. Just uh, go into sources, and uh, so you can click hide. Obviously, I don't want to hide my 4K camera, but you can do that to your original Elgato and um, leave your, you know, adjust, leave this one here, but adjust the sound as you need fit for your Elgato capture card.
Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. That's more of a, a 30 second fix, but probably one minute if you're actually following along to the video at the same time. I uh, hope this helped. If this did help, I'd really, really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, all those nice things that us YouTubers ask for you to do. They really, really do help. So we really do appreciate them. And um, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, catch you again soon, guys. Peace.